Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at this avionic item. The thing is a terrain awareness and warning system, TAWS 8000 from Landmark. On the front there is a connector for the power supply, J2 here, and another connector, J1. There is here a connector, I think it is used for an RS-232 interface. There are four LEDs here, and uh, there is here a compartment which contains a database. Okay, so this is a database for the terrain and obstacle. Okay, very nice. Look at that. Let's start with this board. We have over there the power supply. We have here two high temperature capacitors. Very nice design. We have here a bunch of LM2903 dual comparator and here linear voltage regulator. This is a, a part from analog devices 976. It can be an ADC. Or there is an AD780. So this is a voltage reference. It is a voltage reference I have used for the design of the HMC8012, which is this DMM here. And we have here an analog multiplexer, uh, 8 inputs, I think, 1 output. We have an AD706, so this is a dual op amp, super beta input transistors. So this is a nice op amp, it permits to have a current bias around 100 picoamps but relatively stable with temperature. UC2903. Now we have other AD706 over there. And here an ADG419. So this is uh, an analog multiplexer. We have here a classic TL. 074 quad op amp. So here we have several optacouplers. Otherwise, we have several MOSFET transistors over there and uh, TVS diodes. One big tantalum capacitor. And there is here a bodge, this RC network. And here there is a MIC. 4427 also some parts on the bottom side oh, we can see also some bodges here Let's have a look at the second board, which is obviously a digital board. The processing power is quite uh, quite high. Uh, we should have here the main processor. There is a dissipator here. Here we can see the decoupling capacitors on the bottom side. Okay, so we have here the reference of this microprocessor for the microprocessor aficionados, XPC something. We have here two flash memories which contain the code, the two static memories here, and here we have a Spartan FPGA from Xilinx. Okay, so we can see here an audio frequency transformer from Tamura. Okay, so there is another Xilinx FPGA here. And we have here uh, two other programmable parts. Maybe a small microcontroller or 
maybe a CPLD or something like that. It can be also flash memory. So this part M6650, so this is maybe a microprocessor. So this uh, should be flash memory. Okay, so this is effectively a flash memory. I don't recognize this part here. Landmark software version 1.13. Landmark database North America. Effective date June 7, 2007. MFL invalid. Landmark system test failed.